Hey guys, it's us again. I'm Delicious Delights. And this I'm Mark. is Mark, my husband. Um, here for another video together. So I think today we'll be talking about a niche house that I've kind of wanted to, I guess, delve into for quite a while. Um, had these samples lying around. We have MDCI, five of them here. And uh, Mark checked what MDCI stood for. Yeah, before we was started a, filming. <laughs> I thought it was a Roman number. But yeah, it's, I, I thought so too. But it's a, it said Marshall a Creation des Independents, so, so Marshall and Creations Independence or something like in, that. In French? In French. So not a Roman number, I thought that, but that's not the case. But isn't M? M is, a, M is 1000. Yeah. And I believe D is 500. And maybe maybe it is. C is 100. And so maybe it is a number. Yeah, that would be, 16, <laughs> it would be 1601, I guess. Okay, but, it could be, could be. Yeah, but I don't know. Okay. But so anyhow, apparently to them it's not. Yeah. I guess I'm going to just dive in into th to these perfumes. Uh, I wore a few of them and tested them, but not all of them. I didn't check any notes or anything. We're just going to give you guys our quick thoughts on uh, these perfumes. We won't rush or anything. So it's probably going to be a lot of uh, a long video and a lot of chit chat. But let's just begin. All right. Sure. Go. The first one here is called Invasion Barbar. Oh, Barbaric Invasion. Kind of cool. Invasion Barbar. Am I saying that right? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> My French is not that great. You speak a bit of French, right? I speak a bit of French, but literally a bit. Okay, here you go. Oh. This is nice. It is. <laughs> I think so too. Can you go closer so they can hear? Yeah, yeah. I think it's nice too. Good Barbaric Invasion. Okay. Says, so that I can kind of get that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, if I remember correctly, I think people have said this smells like Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal, Le Mal. I think I smelled it one time and I didn't like it. This, I like, this but is I like good this. though. But I like this. Why do you like it? I don't know. What does it smell like? Is it earthy or green? I'm getting a lot of herbal notes in here. Yeah, I guess. The... And I'm picturing like this very well-dressed gentleman man type, okay. of, type of person okay i'm obviously triggered by the name barbaric invasion but I yeah just, uh, I, what I, kind I, of person i, I just see, so, see some mongol or hun warlord really like uh wearing this but i find or, it or, to or, be or uh, or a merchant on marco polo's silk route where he runs into i find it to be very classy though yeah some expensive yeah. looks like some expensive spice thing in it yeah i'm getting herbal spice Somewhat barber shoppy. No, no, I don't have that. Somewhat. Just very refined, well dressed, rich dude. Maybe a bit older. I can't, I'm not picturing yeah, like a uh, younger person mas wearing masculine, this. Masculine, I guess. Typically masculine, yeah. yeah, yeah. Faint hint of leather, maybe? Yeah, I don't know what the notes are. We don't know what the notes are. It's probably better that way, right? Yeah, <laughs> excellent stuff. I like it. I like it though. No, this it's, is great. It's like when you smell it, you're like, wow, that's really good. We're ranking you know? them without people knowing them how we rank them, right? Right. At the end of this video, we'll we'll be sharing, um, I guess, the order or your yeah. top three yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So Invasion Barbar. Yeah, I like it. How do we know which one? Well, the first one. And they're in order here. So the next one here mm -hmm. is Le Barbier de Tanger. Oh, okay. What does that mean? Le Barbier de Tanger. Tanger the, is in the, Tangeria? The barber of Tanger. Tanger is a city in uh, Morocco. Did I say Tangeria? <laughs> <laughs> Tangier is a city in Morocco. Tangier. Tangier is a city <laughs> in, Mor in northern Morocco. It was that, Tangeria, Algeria. Uh, if, you, if you would cross <laughs> the Mediterranean on, the, on Portugal, the thinnest part of the Mediterranean, you'd come up in Tangier. All right, then. So this is my first time trying this and yours as well. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. It, it's nice too. Yeah, I agree. It gets, the, yeah, the names are very spot on because I would get this like a barber shop in. It's definitely having a, a barber shop vibe in here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, herbal. And more the Mediterranean. Green, barb, barb. grassy. It has a greenness to it. Some aquatic a bit too. Aquatic? Yeah. I'm again picturing. Aquatic a bit like. I'm picturing a, a very well-dressed dude again. I'm picturing, in specific, Gerard Butler. You know, with the beard okay. and clean-shaven. I can imagine this. 
It's good. Yeah. It's it smells kind of. It kind of smells designery, but no, like, I don't get it designery at all. No, no designery, but okay, sorry. like the best version of barbershop designer that you can come up with is this. I would get a. Oh yeah, I, I say fantastic. would get a slight hint of like manureish stuff. Really? In a good way. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> okay. Not in a bad way, but like more like a stable mm. kind of thing. I'm just getting like. 100% barbershop vibes, Gerard Butler just walking out of the the, the, the barber's barbershop. <laughs> well, you, get, you see him in his 300 suit or in his like uh, no, I see him. suit? I see him in a white, uh, like white shirt and tie. Okay. And this is like professional, going to work, um, higher management type of scent. Yeah, you think so? High roller, yeah. Okay. Uh, even between these two, I'm having a hard time deciding which I like more. <laughs> I but we're gonna we're gonna decide at the end. Okay. I like that. Okay, so next up, we have a fragrance here. This one is very popular, I think. It's called Chypre Palatin. Oh, you were right at the day. This was my scent of the day. Yeah, yeah. That and was uh, nice hang stuff. on one sec. I'll just spray it. So here you go. <laughs> Very nice. It's amazing, you guys. <laughs> it smells different on the paper than it did on your skin, though. Yeah, me. yeah. I have, wow. a, I have a hint of the. My nose itchy. I have a hint of the bubble gum candy with it. Yeah, there's a sweetness in here, but, yeah. it, but in the good kind, you know. It's like vintage, vintage uh, perfume, women's perfume, with uh, a sweetness of um, bubble gum. Yeah. On the paper. I totally get the bubblegum on the paper, but yeah. when, when you were wearing it, I really got like the the, the more tree, tree scent. It's like a modern vintage. Like if you were to take those classic vintage perfumes like Chanel Number no. 5 mm -hmm. and add a nice, a serious bubblegum note. <laughs> and bubblegum as in like a mature bubblegum, not get... like a young celebrity a bubblegummy type of thing. No. For me, the bubblegum thing dominates though and it didn't on your skin. Okay. Well, it was on my clothing. I feel a, uh, <laughs> I feel a, uh, yeah. I feel an undertone of wood, though. Okay. I'm getting like a better version of Chanel Number no. Five without the pissy notes or pissy notes. Yeah, Chanel Number no. Five and, and like it's, it has like this sparkling, um, almost metallic-iness to it. It was that swampy stuff. I like that. Yeah, I know we will disagree on that one. I find this to be very rounded hey, and soft. If I soft. move my head, you see the light coming through, the, light, the fading evening sun, see? Yeah. That's kind of cute. Yeah. You think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. Modern, a, a modern take on a vintage type of smell. Okay, for me it's good, but it's not great. I love it. It's okay. It's super classy, something I would wear if I wanted to feel bougie for a special occasion. When everyone else is wearing black opium and the VA Bell, I'll be wearing sheep Palatin and people will notice that type of thing. And my hair is done and makeup done and we're dressed really nicely. Okay. Oh, I would wear this and you can wear like one of the other two. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and you'd be so. wearing a shirt and tie. We're in our pajamas right now, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah. wearing this uh, this great uh, Star Wars pants, people. Yeah. These are my pajama pants, and there's Darth Vader hats on it. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and a Celtic sweater. And a Celtic sweater. Yeah. Mine's just a New Balance sweater. A uh, Nike. No, this is new. Mine is New oh. Balance. <laughs> Anyways, I like New Balance shoes too. Oh yeah, New Balance. Yeah, I remember you buying that. Yeah. It's comfy. You were doubting to buy it, but it's really comfy, mm. huh? It's comfy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's cheaper Palatin, classy, elegant. No one will smell like you around you. You're really, wow. you really impressed by it. I am. I'm not. I was impressed. I by, like I was it. impressed by it in the car. Yeah. And now I'm like, yeah. <laughs> next one. Yeah. The next one we have here, and it's in French, so I'm gonna butcher it. Maybe you can try. Le rivage des Cirtes. Yeah, le rivage des Cirtes. I have no idea what that means. Uh, I'm you can not, guess. No, no. You're not gonna guess? Uh, no, I don't know. Seattle yeah. is a, I believe it's a town, but I'm not entirely sure where. All right. Here you go. And the, the rivage, I fail to grasp at the moment, but that is in French. 
Again, that's bamboo kami stuff. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah? I love this one, this yeah. Is the, this is those round uh, chewing gum balls you get from a machine. Just not that though. It has the sweetness of a kind of bubble gummy thing, but there's kind so of? much. It like totally like the dominates sweetness it. of that, but there's more to it. For sure, more to it. Yeah, okay, but. I love this, you guys. It's reminding me of something I already own. Which is? I'll tell you later. Okay. Tell me what you think first, because if I tell you now, you might, you might, it might sway your opinion on it. Mm. But I love this one, you guys. Ugh. So I think I, I know first? what I think I know what you're gonna say. That you okay, say it then. You're not gonna say this is reminds you like Vermelichite, right? No. No, exactly. Because <laughs> that, because that, that, because that, I was, af I was afraid you were gonna say that because I really like that. And, yeah, and, no, and, and it's I don't, different. I don't really like it this much. I love this. No, okay, so what it smells like to me. Or do you want to go first? Ah, for me it smells like those chewing gum balls, those round ones you get from the machine as a kid. And that's it? This, but it's... There's more. Dominates most There's of it. There's definitely more. And There's I, some marshmallows I, 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 and some other stuff, but... Wow, okay. But yeah, you go. So I'm getting the sweetness of a bubblegummy type of scent. Mm -hmm. Not all the way though, because that smells like that smells kind of juvenile, maybe mm -hmm. uh, like a mature sweetness of a bubble gum. But under that, we have like this juicy, like orangey citrus, almost like an orange essential oil. No. If you were to smell no, it, not for me. yeah, I have like four different types of orange essential oils, mm -hmm. and it smells like this okay, kind no, of. Yeah, I get it, I, I get it in here. Also, when I when I wear this on my skin, and I've tested this before. Um, I'm getting some greenness mm -hmm. and the very first like sniff of this on my skin I get a little bit of like the green stuff for a short time. On your skin? So that's, just, yeah. that, that's not on this no. on, on the paper. But what about no. on the paper? You smell the green on the kind paper? Kind of, yeah. Yeah? The green stuff, you know what I mean, right? The uh, green stuff. I get a bit of that. No. Yeah, and it's smoky and also... Okay, I don't smell it. <laughs> For me to smell I'm a getting lot. green, smoky green, the ones that people smoke, and then I'm getting this uh, juicy orange essential oil on top of that, and I'm getting like a touch of a bubblegummy sweetness, and together it's something so unique. Maybe there's two bros in here, I'm not sure, but the perfume that it's reminding me of, and I think it's very, very, no, not very similar to, but it reminds me of Daphne by Comme des Garçons. Yeah, but I like that on you. Yeah. And I don't like this that much. Oh, that's weird. Well, to me it's similar. Well, it's different on skin though. Perhaps, but it's, um, to me, you said it's unique, but for me it smells a lot like the one just before it. I love it. That's yeah. fine. You can, you, you don't have to like it. Oh, I know. I love this though. Styrtis, because oh, I love, one, the, I love the, the, Daphne the... by Comme des Garçons. This would be like, if I ever ran out of Daphne, I would go for this. But think of Daphne, but it has like this smoky greenness to it. Um, the smoky stuff. In my mind, it smelled a lot like the third one, but now I'm smelling them again with each other. Mm -hmm. The bubble gum newness of the third one moved a bit to a more, more early note, which mm -hmm. I like a bit better, but it's still not over. Okay. All right, last one here is called I have no idea how to say this, but it's Cho Cho San or Sio Sio San. I don't know. I think it's like uh, Japanese or something. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Japanese. The sun is Japanese. Ooh, isn't it? It just <laughs> Daniel Sun. The the <laughs> wind right. just put it in my mouth. No, but Sun is Japanese, like it. Daniel Sun. Yeah. Hey, not so bad. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of it? Green, mm -hmm. with a hint of. It's different. I've never smelled anything like this. With a hint of smoke and coals, and perhaps a bit of licorice. Coals. Yeah, like the coals after they just stopped burning. <laughs> okay, I'll go after you. And I got some green, mossy note. Wow. Okay. A lot of green. A bit of okay. bit of water. Bit of yeah, riverish, swampish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like that word swampish and there's swampy. a whiff of smoke. I'm getting something it's, completely different. It's decent. It's decent. <laughs> I think it's unique, first of all. It's not fantastic, but it's decent. I've never 
smelled anything like this in a perfume. It's quite unique. Okay. So to me, it's watery, like you say, and sparkling to me. But to me, it smells like rockets. You know that or that ice oh. cream that um, oh yeah 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 the it's a popsicle that has like red blue and white is that what they call it here rocket yeah rocket it smells exactly like that <laughs> so it's cold watery I don't think of it. think of yeah no. totally totally when I smelled this I'm like right away I'm thinking of when I was a kid. And then you'd. Ha I never chose the rockets though. When no, the, when the ice cream man came by, I, I see other kids get the rockets. I never ever got it. It's I, even, I got something else. It's even so bad that, um, <laughs> especially in summer, uh, people that are at work sometimes like when you have. I'm not sure how that works everywhere else, but in the Netherlands, if you have a birthday, people like you give like a snack to your coworkers. And in the in the summer, there's often ice cream. And if they have rockets, I refuse the ice cream. I'm like, nah, I'm not really hungry. <laughs> Maybe that's why you don't know. I don't really like rockets, but I've I like. Had lo I've I would had like. It. I like the like the chocolate ice cream or the, the yeah, actual actual me too. cream ice cream. Yeah. But like when it's the watery popsicle thing, no. This no, smells thank exactly you. like. Well, not. It smells very very similar to the rockets. The taste of the rockets is what this smells like. So it has like this artificial type of sweetness. Yeah. It's very watery though, and like in the summertime, it would melt really quickly, and. Um, it has almost like it, yeah. It's just rockets, just no. basically the the popsicle. Well, like I said, I don't really take it. And, if, and, and when I when I accidentally like get it forced upon me, the mm -hmm. rocket, yeah, I just quickly bite off the popsicle and swallow it so I can be done with it as soon as possible. Okay, Mark, let's uh, you you quickly do your ranking of your least favorite to your most favorite. I already and did. They're they're the most they're in order here. So one, two, three, four, five. I already did. Okay, fifth place. Fifth place. It was the fourth that you gave me. <laughs> Le Rivage des Sirtes. Yeah. Okay. The bubble gummy thing. Doesn't you don't like it? And I don't really like it. No. Okay. Next. I would give this a uh, fifty out of a hundred. Next. Uh, Fourth then, place. Oh, you're not gonna do your fifth first? Oh, okay. My last place. Yeah. Uh, was the rockets one, the Cho Cho San. Okay. It's just I don't want to smell like rockets. How much out of a hundred? Um. Well, it smells like it's like well done, but I just don't like the scent of it. Okay. Um, I would I'd give it a, a six. Okay. <coughs> Fourth place. Ooh. Fourth so, place so is, the third, is the third you gave me. Uh, she Propelitan. Yeah. Which was great on, on your skin. It was mm -hmm. horrible in the strip. It's getting a little bit better now. A bit early and stuff, mm -hmm. but... Okay, 62 out of 100. My fourth place is Le Barbier de Tanger. And not because it doesn't smell bad. Not, 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 well, it does smell good. I just wouldn't wear it for myself because I'm only picturing Gerard Butler type person. Okay. <laughs> with a beard and he's just walking out. Like, you know, someone very mm -hmm. not me. And I, I like the smell though. I would like this on someone else, but not me. Okay. It's good though. It really, really is good. It's a good barbershop scent for sure. If you're into barbershop scents. Okay, third place. Third place is the fifth that you gave me. Cho Cho San. Yeah. Okay. Anything to add? <laughs> yeah, it's just okay. 60, just marginally better than the third one, than the fourth one. This is 63 out of 100. My first, third place is uh, Invasion Barbar. Well, same reason. It smells really nice and I'm picturing mm -hmm. some other character wearing it, but not me. But it smells really nice for like an older, not older, hmm, like a distinguished gentleman type of person. Okay. It's really good. <laughs> Second place, Mark. How much? How much? Out of 100. Uh, Invasion Barbar. I'll give it a seven and a half. Okay, it's good. High. It's just that's it's just high. not something I would wear though. I know it's good. Like even the Barbier de Changer was good. That's my second place, the Barbier de Changer. Okay. Very nice. A lot of spices. Yeah, actual, very nice. You would actually get like the imagine a barber in yeah in this case tongue or like outside where there's like some uh, some warmth from the Mediterranean blowing mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, this is second place, right? This is second place. Yeah. 82 out of 100. Good stuff. Great stuff. 
well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, second place for me is the Shipra Palatin. Okay. I love it. I love it. It's like for people that struggle with um, vintage perfumes and you want to get your mm -hmm. your foot in the water, I, I think. This is like a very friendly, vintage -y type of scent. It's because of that sweetness of a bubblegummy type of thing, mm -hmm. um, which adds like a fun little mm -hmm. oomph to it. Because without that bubblegummy thing, it would be a very, fam no, I won't say familiar, but it reminds me like of like older vintage style perfumes that sometimes are hard to wear. Would you say that bubble gum thing, the yeah. bubblegum note brings the average age for wearing down? Well, I think anyone can wear this, but for someone very no. But classy. would you? Would you? Uh, for my, for me, it would like automatically mm. draw it to a younger crowd because of the bubble mm. gum thing. I wouldn't say like teenager or anything like that. No, okay. Maybe like thirties, but I don't like putting age on perfumes. Okay, okay. But for me, yeah, I really, really like this. I would wear this um, if I wanted to be different or stick out because you know everyone around you is wearing like mm. Alien and Angel, which are good too. Mm -hmm. But this is like high-class stuff. I really, really like this one a lot. Sheep Peloton. How much? Um, that's going to be uh, eight and a half out wow. of ten. Good stuff. Okay, your number one, Mark. The first one you gave me, Invasion Barbary. I think you like the name of it too. Oh, I, uh, okay, okay, I do admit, <laughs> like, I'll, I am a bit of a sucker for the name giving. Mm -hmm. I can see totally a Teladehan, like, coming, just simply wearing it. But, except for that, it's really classy stuff. Like it is. I like that one too, the first one. It has like the, the earthy note, a bit of leather, a bit Invasion of smoke. Barber. Yeah, it's a bit good. Of smoke. Does it have a barbershop-y thing to you too? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but not as much as the, the one before this. <sighs> it's good. Fantastic. I would give this a 90 out of 100. This yeah. is by far yeah. the best it's I good. have. So my number one is your least favorite. <laughs> Really, yeah. The Le, Le Rivage de Sirtes. Cirt mm -hmm. oh, it's fantastic. I love orange notes, you guys. So it stood out to me right away. I love that it has like this smoky, uh, I don't even know if I'm worried to say, smoky, uh, I don't know, I can't say the word, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, the smoky green stuff. I, f I feel that in here too. In the background, just giving it some like body and weight to it. And then it has that fun, um, sweetness coming from i don't know what or which fruit it is or what i don't get the other than orange, orange. yeah i, I definitely get orange I don't know yeah i do <laughs> for sure like an orange essential oil like a very condensed like into an oil i do get form. it i do get it's packing a bit more weight than just uh, yeah. a, a bubble gummy thing but it's and um if you were like looking for daphne but couldn't find it i would uh, recommend you to try this one because I do see some similarities in here. Okay, I would recommend. Um, there's I would some florals in here too. Uh, I'm not sure what the notes are, but I think it's gorgeous. And it is another one of those scents where, you know, everyone around you is wearing like, just you know, familiar mm -hmm. scents. This is different. It's unique. It's. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I love it. If people, if people if, when I when I sorry when I run out of Daphne, I'm going to. I would love to get this one and, and also the sheep repeller 10 maybe one day. Okay. It's if, fantastic. This house is amazing. I love it. If people can choose between this and Daphne, I would go for Daphne 100%. Yeah, but that's discontinued and hard to find. So. Okay. <laughs> but just saying. Yeah. So um, uh, overall thoughts on this house? Um, those two that are in the top are really, really extremely good. Um, Invasion Barbar and Le Barbier, right? Yeah. Are really, really excellent. Like top quality. Yeah. Um, the third one, what was that again? Oh yeah, the rocket thing was already was moi, and the other two I was like even more moi, like not terrible but moi doesn't do much for me. I I think this house is great, you guys. From the ones that I've tried here, I also own um, at home uh, Les Indies Galant. Oh, is that from them? Yeah, I love yeah, that. I it's love that. Really, really good too. Yeah. It's another one of those. It makes me feel very like. I don't know. It makes me feel a type of way, classy, I guess. Elegant. You no, know, uh, like an Indian spice market, especially it's like amazing. the especially like the cinnamon in it. Um, cinnamon is my yeah. favorite spice after salt, I guess. And it's but one I don't really talk about on my channel, but um, out of the, the entire house, my favorite is Le Les Indies Galant, yeah. and then I would love to have cheaper Palatin and or 
the Le Rivage desserts. Okay. Because I think they're great. Seriously, okay, well, I, love I, it. I would go for the other two, the like Invasion Barbara mm -hmm. and the Barber in Tanga. You can tell that these fragrances feel luxurious. You know, when yeah. you when you smell yeah. it, you're like, how much are they? You'll remember bottle? it. Expensive, no? I, I think like one ninety five or something like that. Okay. But when you smell it, you're like, wow. You know? Yeah. It's not your typical whatever. It's it's something that. I don't know, there's something special about these perfumes. Um, something special about their price too. <laughs> but I think that in some cases, you know, when you come across something that really does blow you away or knock you off your feet or whatever, then, you know, something yeah. to consider yeah. um, investing in a, a bottle in because these, I, these are really good. All of them are good. Um, except for the Cho Cho San, which smelled weird, like a rocket kind of scent. Okay. Well. Okay. So, anyways, that was our very, very long video on MDCI didn't feel parfums. So long. Yeah, it didn't. I enjoyed smelling them. You did too? Yeah. Yeah. So, if you guys want to share with us in the comments if you guys have any favorites from this house or which ones you would recommend, please let us know in the comments uh, which is your favorite from the house. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.